Hello everyone and welcome to another Diarobes modeling example. Today's topic will be on two of the recently added capabilities of Diarobes, model flipping and model combining. Model flipping allows the user to take control of a rotor and reorient it such that the left and right ends change positions. Model combining allows the user to join two rotor models together in order to create a new rotor model. For this exercise, we have three different rotor models, Turbine 1, Turbine 2, and a generator. The objective is to combine these models to create a train assembly and then perform a critical speed analysis on the complete model. Currently, all three of these components are saved in separate files, and Turbine 1 is aligned backwards relative to the other two. Our task will be to reorient Turbine 1 and then combine all three files together to create a model of the full train assembly. The need for model flipping and model combining can occur frequently because drawings may be provided from different suppliers or modeled by different engineers. It is also common for a given component, such as a motor or coupling, to be used for several different machines. When this happens, there is no sense in remaking the part for each new system model. It is far more practical and efficient to simply import the component. These two features provide the Diarobes user with a method for handling modular designs with interchangeable parts. To demonstrate these new features, we are going to use the three rotor files shown on the screen. These example files come with every copy of Diarobes version 19, and they can all be found in the example folder under the Diarobes directory. Start by opening Turbine 1. This model is currently oriented backwards relative to the other two models that we will be using. To flip the model, click on Project, Model Flipping, select this rotor file, and we'll want to give a new name to the flipped model so that we can identify it later. Simply save the new model, and now we can see that the model has been flipped and the large disks are now on the right side. We have changed the orientation of Turbine 1. Now we want to combine the two turbines. Click on Project, Model Combining. We already have the flipped Turbine 1 model in the base field. We'll just have to select Turbine 2 for the add model. We want to give our combined model some simple identifying name. For example, Turbines 1, 2. It is possible to append the shafts together to create one shaft, or to use the rigid link feature to keep them separate. Either option will produce the same analysis results. The two methods are primarily intended to give the user more options on how they would like to organize their project. The Merge Material option will prevent us from having duplicate materials with the exact same properties. Press OK. And we now have one model that is a combination of the two turbines. The final modeling step for this exercise is to attach the generator to the rotor train. Following the same procedure as before, select like Projects, Model Combining. We already have the two turbines together in this base model, so we'll just have to add the generator. We'll give a simple name to this new model. I pin the shafts together merge the material, and press OK. We now have the full train assembly, including the two turbines and the generator. We can analyze the behavior of this system with all the parts together. For example, run a critical speed analysis, and we can look at the mode shapes and see the behavior of the system as a whole. 